yo, yo, yo. What's good? It's Brooklyn Boys. Righty out. And we got a special guest this week in the house. Over here with Jit, 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 Georgie. My favorite time, boy. You gotta say that shit, man. What the fuck? Bruh. Like, could you, can, can I get a minute? What's good, y'all? It's Georgie, a.k.a. your favorite tomboy, here with the Brooklyn Boys. That's How y'all doing? Told. I'm from Brooklyn. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Georgie, look at me. Why can't look at you? Those eyes are golden. That's your shit? That's my shit. So I never noticed she you threw them on like today because they match her hat. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Are you trying to play them, my nigga? No. I'll fuck you he's up, He's a nigga. guy given. Uh, I don't know. Your kids got those eyes? My son has the shape, my oldest. Okay. His arm and eyes golden, but they're a little light. Is it because of the lights this shit look like that? The light enhances them, but okay. they, he's, you know he's regular, baby. All right, Georgie. No problem. <laughs> so what's good, though? I'm chilling. I'm chilling. I'm happy to be here. Now, man, we over here doing what Brooklyn Boys do. Please make sure y'all like, share, and subscribe. Like, share, and subscribe. Hit the thumbs up button. And Press the subscribe button. And um, leave comments, because I like to go through y'all comments, man. I, I'll go through the comments, and I like to answer some of y'all niggas when y'all say He has trouble questions. reading at times, but he gets through it. <laughs> <laughs> Hooked on phonics, man. <laughs> so wait a minute, man. I want to talk about Georgie and let Georgie tell a little bit about herself. Georgie! A lot of people don't know. I've known Georgie for a long, long, long time. Georgie was on Money and Violence, for those that didn't know. I was. I was. And Georgie, please, can you just tell the people about yourself and what you got going on? This, is, I, this question always gets me. Um, hi, my name is Georgie, a.k.a. your favorite tomboy. I am one-third of Kitchen Talk, the podcast with... Mano and Holla. Yo, May, what up? Pay the ass, Mano. Go ahead. <laughs> Shout out to Holla, too. Ass, Mano. Um, I am a singer songwriter. I, um, I'm a mom of two. Why you never bring out your dancing shit? Didn't you like dance with Trey Songz a couple of niggas? Yo, one time I was at a show <laughs> and Trey Songz was performing. Nah, and Georgie came out and did like a solo. I was like, I was like, yo, where the hell did Georgie come from? Um, but it wasn't Trey Songs. I danced with a couple of people, but it wasn't Trey Songs. Who was? Um, it was somebody who came out. It was one of the artists. It was um, Young Staff. Um, you know, I did like the high hater dance. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I was a dance teacher, so. Okay. You were a dance teacher? I was a dance teacher. Oh, wow. You want to teach you some moves? Nah. Can you teach me some moves? I don't dance. I stand I stand on the wall and I nod my head. Mm. Yo, this nigga was dancing with a stripper one time. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Yo, this nigga was doing some compa. I don't dance, bro. What do you do? I stand on the wall and I nod my head. Yo, bro, you Two didn't dance with a stripper in the middle club? No, I didn't dance. You kept saying, oh, you dancing. I'm like, no, I'm not. What she was doing behind the middle club? Standing and nodding my head. I was two-stepping, bro. Like... That's not standing. Not I don't dance. dance. I don't dance, bro. Don't dance. I don't dance. Anyway, look, we're going to go back to our scheduled program. <laughs> we're going to get into some entertainment news real quick. Just want to give a RIP to Pop Smoke. This is. No the, shout out? Yo, yeah, well, shout out to Pop Smoke. Yeah, bro, this you don't third, shout out that people. Anyway, shout out to Pop Smoke. This is the third year anniversary of his death, of his passing. I don't like to say death, of his passing. And, um, we didn't see many acknowledgments <laughs> of Pop Smoke on the anniversary of his death, and we are wondering why we cannot forget uh, what occurs to our young black men in this world. What is this voice? Uh, um, <laughs> what, what the, is this listen, voice they, do, do a, they do have like a, a pop smoke day, like a floor stay in the That's in Canarsie. Canarsie, of course they're yeah, gonna they do that in the hood, but the, the, rest, the rest of the world cannot forget. Like, I just wonder how big pop smoke would have been if he was still here. I think it could go either way. No, I think it would have been big. I don't even think like Fabio would even exist if Pop Smoke. You can't say that. What do you think? I don't think so. Well, if that's the case, then Drill wouldn't exist, right? No, I'm not saying Drill. I'm just saying like, you know, was Pop was Pop Smoke Drill? (coughs) Yeah, you know, artists have their time. Like I don't know. The song was Dior. That wasn't really about killing people. It was about clothes. Jay, but he wasn't been as big if Big was still here. I don't think that's true. I don't I think, think I don't I, believe that's true. Know, I think that. I think I, I think that they both could have coexisted and been just as big. I think Jay could have <laughs> been just as big as he was, and Big could have existed on a nah, whole other plane that. just as big. Like and I, I love both of them. And things. you know what? And, and and you you know like when I did Money of Violence, that was one of my things. The stage is big enough for all of us. I'm the stage the is big enough for all of us to coexist. But sometimes we we can all coexist, but sometimes. There's a space that is being filled, and other people can't move into that space. Space until somebody, somebody else move out. I agree, but Thank that's you, Georgie. sometimes. 
like you started your sentence with. And sometimes both people can coexist in the same space and be just as big. There's there's a J, there's a Diddy, there's a Dre. It's like, two, di- yes. two different things. I, I would say, di- di- I would say there's things. a J and there's a uh, Tucci. Who? A who? Yeah, but that's later Lil on. Wayne. That's, that's like, no, yeah, because that's like later on in life. Lil Wayne is not a J. Lil Wayne is... No but his generation close. is. No generation. I mean, no I love Jay-Z. Like, that is... That's my uncle in my head. You know what I'm saying? There's nobody. It, like that's 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 my guy right there. But you had um, the locks. You had um, a dip set. You had all of these different. They they had an Correct. era where there were. They were team based, and everybody wanted to be a part of somebody's team. You Correct. had Little Wayne and yeah, uh, Little Wayne had, yeah, had a long ass era. Right. But there's always one. And, and that ever everybody was fighting though they were competing to who was who. Now yeah, that was it. I think I if know. Big was there, that wouldn't happen because you had Big and you had Tupac. You get yeah. what I'm saying? Those two. Were, yeah, but I the only reason I think, I think Pac, Big... Pac was in so much of his own lane, I don't think he ever would have stood in the way of any of that commercial shit. Because Pac was just, I think Pac is a J Cole, right? J Cole can accelerate. He can excel, and it doesn't affect nothing on the commercial lane. Everybody on the commercial lane can live. While J. Cole co- coexists in what he's doing I, at the top of the charts, I think because, because he's, doing he's something so differently, left up, and though. I think that that's what yeah, it was but, with but Pop. I, think, I don't up, think Pop. Nah, that's the difference. No, Pop hold up, hold up, went, he started off that way. <clears throat> Pop started off that way. He was acting, he was doing all of these things, but he stayed, he was kind of in that hip hop rap lane. Like, for him to go anywhere the outside diff- of that, a difference, it might have, I think messed up what he had going it's on. It's a difference. It's still go back to what I'm saying. Because you got to think about it. That time, there was West Coast and there was East Coast. Mm-hmm. So it was one on the West Coast, which was big, and it was one on the, on the, on the East Coast, one on the East Coast, which was big, and one on the West Coast, which was pop. Mm-hmm. So they both was one and one on two different coasts. Mm-hmm. And that's why they could coexist. Right. I'm the same where we at now. I don't know. Like, when I go back to the pop smoke thing, Fabio was here, but Pop was over here. I don't know if they would have both coexisted in the same space at the same time period. I don't think. I think. So. I think there's always enough. I think there's always enough space on the stage, bro, for everybody. I'm not saying they can be both. I think. I think. Simple, I, think, I, think, I, think be I think it's just like I think people don't know what they want until you give it to them. I think it's just like Kanye West, right? We we never could have imagined Jesus Walks, a gospel rap, which is a gospel rap song, would have been top on the Billboard chart. I think people don't know what they want until you give it. So you could have a Fabio that's here, and then you could have somebody that comes in, let's say Rudy Tootie Top and Fruity, new drill rapper, right? <laughs> and, and yo, no, I'm serious. And he comes in. Hey, 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 come get this nigga. Oh my God, like, yo, seriously. No, I'm just saying, I'm, I'm just saying, like, let me tell you something. We don't foresee it 10 years from now, Mm-hmm. There will be a gay rapper on the top ten Billboard chart, right? It, that's the reality. That, okay. It will happen, right? And right now, we haven't had it, so we don't. But it's always gonna be one, though. <laughs> no, that's all I'm saying. Because it, start, it begins because with one. the industry is not gonna allow that space. Like they're going to cater to. There's gonna be somebody who's gonna set the tone, and that person who sets the tone will open the door. Will open the door, but then everybody else who comes in the door are not Just, going to. Be, they're gonna be under that person who set the <coughs> tone until that person who sets the tone is out of the picture. It's like Beyonce. Right? It's only one, it's bro. It's only one. It don't matter how. So you don't. People. So you don't think. You don't think Rihanna and Beyonce. No. Are? no. They're two different people. Two different things. They, they are. They are two. Hard, but you but do- they're, they're not. No, they're doing. I don't know because I think they I, I, both because, big. Because because, because there are people who love Rihanna way more than Beyonce. I hear you, right, but Beyonce, but, but Beyonce be the has her own. Beyonce has her own lane. Everybody has. But so their does power. Rihanna. Right. That's my point. They're not equal. But that's why I say the stage is big enough for all of us. It is, but the thing is, Rihanna still doesn't have that top space. Beyonce, she says, Beyonce who? says the industry Pretty says yeah. her Beyonce like is says the one, bro. Yeah, that's how it is designed right now. And I gotta give a um shout out to Rick. Shout out to Rick. Free Rick. Free Rick. What up, Rick? <laughs> Free Rick. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to golf. But shout out to Rick. <laughs> um, shout out to Rick. Free Rick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely got to do that. Um, so real quick, and, Rick, uh, I grew a beard because of you. <laughs> <laughs> I see Rick do a lot of crazy shit. I see Maine do a lot of crazy shit. But we go. That's another story for another day. Um, and more entertainment news. I want to talk about 
my brother from another mother, Mr. Uncle Murder. <laughs> Murph without that's a murder. They that's, shot him. That's that's, that's the real. That's the first Brooklyn Boys radio. To be honest with you. Well, hold on, that is the first. But I just want to say, Murder is the first rapper slash comedian. I just want to say this. Nah, so fine. the first Brooklyn Boys radio for y'all yeah, that don't know yeah. was Uncle Murder and Mano, Mano and, 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 and Georgie. And, yeah. Yeah. and we shot that first episode and it was. Hi. Yeah, I got, that gotta, first we yo, gotta leak that episode. I, I yo, said. I think we're gonna leak that because I oh listen, and you know I've always told you this. I said if this episode like bro, couldn't no podcast. Well, what that. the hell happened? Long story. Revolt TV happened. Yeah, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they we, we get to the politics of that yeah, later. They be but that I was the first. What happened? I'm just no. Nah, like, okay. They be like that. And that shit was hilarious. That shit was crazy. But I feel like now we're that just, slap boxing and all this. Oh shit, my god. We was, was just talking yo, about that. Whole that slap. shit was. Yo, that no. shit was we were just crazy. talking about that. But the great thing about it is now. You can create your own. You don't have to wait for somebody to open the door for you. You create your, your own. Your shit. Yeah, yeah. So yeah that's that's a shit good thing. It was different. You know what I mean? It's a different time. But your boy, um, Trick Daddy, had a message for my brother, um, Uncle Murder. <laughs> and Fuck Trick Daddy. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Yo, Tito Bergante is in the house. <laughs> so, Trick <laughs> Daddy. Brooklyn. Fuck Trick. Let's go. <laughs> Trick Daddy said Uncle Murder is the worst rapper. He takes on people... Uh, oh, they pain. They pain. Number one clown for the last five years is Uncle Murder. You a clown, boy. You a clown. You take people unfortunate disasters. You take people downward spirals in life. You take the the, the things that people go through within that year. You sit there for that whole year because you ain't got nothing else to do, and you sit there. You take everything that a person went through and you put it in a song every year. You ain't got nothing else better to do. That's clown shit, boy. Trick Daddy, get the fuck out of here. Yeah, Trick Daddy, <laughs> fuck out of here. We love the wrap up. Um, the Uncle Murder dude put out records, and I, I'm gonna speak on the behalf. Hold on. Of, go ahead. I just want to say something. This is New York culture, Trick Daddy. This is what you don't understand. We grew up ranking on each other, right? If your mother was fat, we gonna tell you your mother's fat. Like it is what it is. Like no sensitivity, no nothing. This is what we do. Like. The world has become a world so much of fucking emotional men. Sensitive. Yeah, and hypersensitive that y'all can't even have somebody poke fun at your flaws and laugh with them. But not even that. Not even not even more so that with Trick. The news, your everyday news is a rapper. Yeah, every day you go Charlemagne and they diss the dirt on whatever they are talking about. These <laughs> IG vlogs. Yeah, I mean, these IG vlogs. He's doing face, he's like, he's not doing nothing different. News. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Wipe so, the coke the people, off your nose. I, I just think that people want it. Like, because if he doesn't do... People are looking oh, yeah, for the yeah, rap yeah. Like, even throughout the year when stuff happens, they're like, oh, I can't, can't wait, wait till he, he yep, does the rap-up. Can't the wait rap till Uncle Murder does the rap-up. Ain't nobody waiting for your raps, nigga. <laughs> so, the devil juice is on fire. I'm just letting y'all yeah, niggas know. Hold on. The devil, what kind of, what kind nectar, of devil juice were you drinking? I was... I had some Jamie. Yeah. Jameson. Jameson. Ooh. Yeah, this nigga devil That's neck is on no, fire. No, you know what it is? I I got to a point where I felt like I was too old for him. Right? I used to drink Glenn Livet because I felt like I got to a point where my, my liquor needs to have a last name. And then... The liquor needs to have a last name. It needs to have a last He's name. Glenn Livet. Yeah. Glenn Livet. He booze you with his liquor. <laughs> no, I seriously. don't know. I don't even know. I'm not a drinker. Like that, so because I only know what's popular or what works for me. If I was to do like liquor, it has to be tequila because it doesn't give you a hang. You know how this nigga main is a pain in the ass when he drinks? Yes. Meet his twin brother. <laughs> this is twin. First brother. of all, yo, one time we was in L.A. Right? I can't even tell you the whole L.A. story. It was a fast scratch. Yeah, I couldn't. <laughs> yeah, because I can't even tell you the whole L.A. story. But when well, I want to go to more entertainment news. Real quick, got to talk about Jonathan Majors. Majors. Majors? Majors. Jonathan Majors. That's Yo, so shout man. out to my nigga Will Harris because he's in Creed 3. Yo, Will, what up? I like Will Harris. So, Jonathan Majors on the cover of Ebony Magazine this month, and he got a bunch of different covers. Georgie, but the first cover. <laughs> he just went, he just cut you off. <laughs> I don't That's just cut me off. Jonathan Majors is a fine specimen. That big man. nose nigga is. He, 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 he regardless <laughs> of how. <laughs> Let me, Hold on. Let me I'm, not saying, I'm not saying that you want the devil's You sound like a hater. You sound like a oh, hater. No, he's, no, he's nice. Let, let me explain oh, I, You say he's what? He's nice. He's cut up. His body Hold got on. better. Hold no, on. he did his thing. I'm, I'm secure with my shit. Hold on. 
I'm like Sissy. Hold on. Go ahead, B. There's, he, regardless, I don't, he's fine. Like, he is an attractive man. Mm -hmm. He's not, like, gorgeous in that sense, but he's a beautiful man. Like, okay. You look at him, okay. and he's just, I don't know, he's just fine to me. Body, everything. Mm -hmm. Now, from what I know about this um, picture or whatever, or how he was styled, it was supposed to be from some yeah, like an anime, whatever. I don't I don't watch anime. My son would know better than me. Yeah, definitely. I don't think that is gay. I think that... Georgie, stop. Please. Let me just say something. You look, you got pretty eyes, because I would never let you talk let to me, me like that. Let me just say something. Go ahead. Yeah. Okay, so regardless of what it is, you know fashion is art and people take it super far. Like you see it with even rappers when they are dressed during fashion week. Georgie, 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 because his lips were twisted in the picture. They were pursed. And, and, and the problem they, were, I have, they were twisted, they were pursed. Go ahead. And the problem I have with the picture, because I, I just want to know if Jonathan Majors were gay. If he was gay, it would have been fine, right? I think he's married. To, to me, I would have said nothing. I'd have been like, oh, you're gay man, he's living his That's truth. That's fine. What movie no. you this see one him was, in? You this see him one in Holiday Fall? I see him in all movies. I see him in Holiday Fall. He did not purchase him in Holiday Fall. When he fell, yes, he did. Georgie, you freeze framed for like one second when his... Come on, Georgie. Georgie, you bugging out, Georgie. Georgie. You want your son looking like that? I watched him in... in so if, you, if your son took that pic... What, no, and you know what? Art? I, I can't even say that, because if I had a son, and my son took that picture and he was gay, I'd be fine. Fine with it. That's I'd what I'm saying. I'd be fine Because he's not, you feel like it's an yes. agenda? Yes. That, is, that, that, is, that, that is an agenda. I'm tired of us being put in positions to be portrayed in this way. I'm, I'm tired. I'm not a gay man, so don't portray me as a gay man. And if I was a gay man, then it's okay to portray me as one. That's this what is I'm all saying. I'm saying. And, and guess what? I don't even blame the system. I blame him for he saying yes like when he should have said, said no. no. That's all. I thought he got on a dress. Man, he basically had on a dress. He got on hooker boots. <laughs> he got on cowboy boots. He got on hooker boots. Hooker cowboy boots. He got on hooker boots, hooker on hooker boots with a pink fur. Boots. Like, come on. And the Go ahead. He got nice pants. 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 I love John Ann. Majors. Shout out to him. All right. Shout, shout out to John. Matter of fact, you I get what you're You wouldn't let him kiss you with them twisted lips like that. Yes, I would. Yo, John, listen, man. If you was gay, I would have been, I, I'd been okay with it, man. But we got but, too much about. what about people who we are got comfortable too much, in this? Not, it's not about being too, it's not about being comfortable. Because I feel like it's a confidence. Hold up, time out. Like, wait, time confidence. out. It's not I got about, all the confidence in the goddamn that. world but and you, I ain't twisting my lips but you and also I ain't wearing hooking boots. You also are a disciplined type of person where there's just, you don't even dance. No. So there's certain things. But it's not because I think there's do. anything wrong with dancing. Hold up. I didn't say that you did. But Wait a I'm minute. Just saying Can I say, have a Georgie, let me make this point too. Go ahead. The problem I have is, is just that it seems like every straight actor that we have, they put them in gay roles. They put them in a dress. Our young man has to have somebody that looks some type of role model, role model, and a man that who can just be a man. A but man's man. Like it's just. I stop, it. Let's stop blowing the line. I, I get what you're saying. And that's I get the problem. Like I don't, that, that should keep happening. I, I totally get what you're saying, but just like you saying that they have to have some type of role model or whatever. That's when we, as regular people, I guess, or people who you Not know, regular. parents. I'm talking about like oh, okay, parents right. and things like that. That's <laughs> when we come into play and we teach our kids their core values and everything, and not to just see something and want to follow it, but actually be your own person and instill certain things in them where they know, okay, this is not, this might not be right or this might not be the values that my parents have set for me or that but have get, instilled okay, in Okay, but guess what? White America doesn't have to do that. Because 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 they don't have those images depicting them out there. We have those images. Mm. They don't get that. Okay. Big actors don't got Th This is what I'm saying. Why you popular. don't see but they they also you? do things that aren't even how? Because you have things like uh I mean they might not be in dresses and stuff like that, but you got like what is it, Pineapple Express, you can't say Virgin. You can't say you got these certain movies, uh what, what's that the it's other not the thing? same. Uh, American you, Pie. Once you how? go once you go, they may not be in dresses, but it stops at butt. That's but it. they do weird no, shit. That's what they, I'm saying. They, yes, they do. They do weird shit. But, 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 there they're isn't, like there isn't, they as, don't do, but even there isn't in, as a whole, do weird shit. there isn't as a whole, a constant. Every time we have a black man that's in the limelight, mm -hmm. 
They want Lakeith, to put some dress what's on. his name? Lakeith. Uh, he's also weird though in real life. But but he still ends up in a dress. Everyone ends up in a dress. Everyone ends up in a dress. Where can Lakeith end up in a dress? In what? On 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 the cover of uh, what was that? Vanity Fair. On the cover of Vanity Fair, he was in a goddamn dress with his legs crossed like a woman. But he was okay with that, though. You and once again, like said, another instance where somebody get, said not, yes when they should have said no. And you're not no. getting that point. It's always us told. No, like I told him. Why? I'm, not, I I'm not arguing or debating what you're saying. I'm just speaking my thoughts. I'm not debating what you're saying. I totally Everyone's understand what you and guys are saying. But what I'm saying is we go... Oh, look at us in this X, Y, and Z. But we also have to do our due diligence in teaching our youth yeah, and but teaching them what, though, that okay, these that's are your fine, core values. But the images, our images of our men, should not consistently look like that. So I feel like, regardless, I get it. It's a, it's a. You have these magazines or these thing, these systems that have been put in place for years, and they get to dictate certain things. But like I said earlier. We create our own doors. So are we going to keep complaining about these things or are we going to create what we want to see? No, I, I totally you get what I'm saying? I, I totally are we agree. Gonna cre- are we going to create our own magazines I, where we where we, de- we get I, to choose, pick and choose how we look? Listen, are we going to do those things or are we going to keep complaining that they keep putting us in this? If no, keep I totally it? agree because what I did was took the power into my own hands. That's why when you watch Money and Violence, that's one of the first shows in a long time where you have nothing but masculine men. But at the end of the day, all I'm saying is, Jonathan Majors, stop letting them treat you like Jonathan Miners. There we go. Mm. Bam. Mm. All I gotta say is, listen, if he was gay, I won't have no problem. Because <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't want to make it seem like. All I'm gonna say is. Listen, because I don't want to make it seem like we're against gay people. No, we're I'm not. We're not. I don't have no, gay I'm just saying, when you a masculine dude, they, they could have made a hundred different ways to make him look. Just as sexy as you said. Or they could have had the gay but man do that. He chose this. You get he what did. I'm saying? He, he said chose yes. it. He said yes. He exactly. could have said no. He did say no. So regardless, yeah, he said yes. It's not on them. Okay. And sometimes it's not on them. He, if he's okay with it, we can't be mad at that because that's it. That's what I'm talking about. Because Listen, man, I'm going to the next topic, okay subject, man. Why you? Me, first, why you? Not why? Why? Wow. Oh, no, time out. I understand this is Brooklyn boys, but you're not gonna keep cutting. This ain't wow. kitchen talk. Anyway, time next subject. Wow. <laughs> you are so disrespectful. Nah, seriously though. <laughs> time next subject. Cause this is making me upset. So our next subject. Mm-hmm. What I want to talk about? Oh, entertainment news. My last entertainment news for the day. Let me go get off the entertainers, I think. Um, I seen T.I. and Bootsy going back and forth. Bootsy said T.I. Bootsy. Bootsy said T.I. is a snitch. I can't even fix my lips like that. Georgie but, thoughts. <laughs> say he's a snitch because T.I. said that um, he got caught with a gun. and He put it on his dead he man. He put it on his dead cousin. And Bootsy said, Bootsy said that was still snitching. And T.I. responded. And T.I. responded. I don't know about uh, the T.I. response. I think, I think but he just said you could have called, like, you, if you, call had, if you had any type of, you know, think, if you was questioning something. I think, I think, I think niggas is too real, right? <laughs> like, when you're in a situation, listen, first of all, let me tell you this. If I'm in a situation where my life is on the line, I go to jail for 20, 30 years, my cousin is dead, first of all, which means that he cannot pay no consequences for this charge. And I have the opportunity to put this charge on him and to be let go. Bro, how am I snitching on a dead man? Like, y'all niggas want to be real so bad that y'all reality is warped, right? And this is why I think so much of y'all dudes are acting. I feel like in the pursuit of wanting to portray yourself as a real nigga, reality is ignored. That man is dead. Right? Snitching is putting the consequences on another man to pay the consequences so that you pay less consequences. That man is dead. He's not paying no consequences. So how can he snitch? It doesn't make sense. If it was me and I died, God forbid, if you Switch die, I'm me. putting an asshole full of charges on you if I'm going to jail. Put it like, on me, you know what I'm saying? Exactly. I, would, I don't even understand what Boosie This shit is saying. crazy. I, I, sometimes I think, you know, and I don't understand why he be on Vlad, giving Vlad all this shit too. Everybody's allowed to speak on shit that they really... That they're not qualified Qualified to speak, to speak about. Mm-hmm. Like, then... I don't know, man. I just think... It makes me sad. Right, I, and it's not just being qualified to speak about. I think the issue there is 
like Ti said, like you got my number and everything. It's like you know me, so why would you even speak on something? Knowing that you know me, like we know each other. You can reach out to me. Right, you can reach out to me if you got, we can have this conversation off camera. Like you talking about me as if I, you don't know me. I write on Godfather Harlem, right? And Godfather Harlem is a show that's based on Bumpy Johnson. It's based on the mob in the 1960s. Mm -hmm. um, but it's also loosely based on it. So there's a lot of tweaking that we do for entertainment purposes. Absolutely. And there's a dude that I know who took it upon himself I remember I woke up one morning, I get an app mention on Instagram, this nigga put, put up a whole post, yo, y'all niggas did this, did that, um, Vincent Chin Gigante, his daughter's dating a black man, that's so disrespectful to the mob, I can't, mind you, this is a dude who has my number, mm -hmm. right, and this is a dude that anytime he's wanted to reach out to me, he's called me or texted me. And, you know, and I sent a message back. I said, yo, it's just so weird that anytime you want to speak to me, you reached out to me through my phone. But now, <coughs> because of this, you have something negative to say. You would do it all over social media. I've never spoken to him again to this day mm -hmm. because I don't respect him as a man. And, and I say that to agree to what you're saying. Mm -hmm. You got my number, bro. Mm -hmm. If you got an issue with something that you think I did, reach out to me. Mm -hmm. Like, I, I don't understand this whole thing with addressing social media like like people are so, and i think honestly i think it's it's just a plea for attention it's a plea for clout like people are using these things for attention and i don't they definitely i don't respect it they care more about getting the attention and going viral than what they're actually saying and sometimes it's not even intelligent or it's not even logically it logically it doesn't make any sense but you just want to say it or you might just throw something out there just because you want people you want feedback just to be like yeah look at me and it, and it's, and it's sad like i saw jay prince do an interview mm -hmm. with million dollars worth of game I saw it. and and it blew my mind because i've been in houston way back in the days and i'm like this is supposed to be an og but this is how dudes is moving now like, how does this make sense? Like, they want to be relevant. Yeah, but they want that. You know, you have those people, and I'm not just talking about like that situation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But in, you in have general. like these these people who were the shit back in the day, or they were, you know, they were powerful, or they had this going, they had that going, and they can't let it go. So it's like it's kind of like the basketball player who who like back in his prom he was that nigga and as he get older he can't let go of that moment yeah. you get what i'm saying they yeah. can't let go of those moments so now, yo you score 60 but i right. score 70 in 1988 right so now we got we got <laughs> podcasts we have all of these things where you can be relevant again so let me come out let you know what i mean and they can't let go of that moment so they're still living that moment in now time yeah it's crazy so. well the moral of the story is if you got a problem with your reach man, reach out to your man. Call bro. your man. That's the moral of the Absolutely. story. Absolutely. All right, so Georgie, I know you got kids, right? Mm -hmm. How old are your boys? Your mommy asked me. Um, 18 and 7. Okay, 18. So I just watched this video. We're going to show a clip of it, and we're going to come right back. Okay, take your mask off. Surprise! <laughs> this is your car, girl. I don't want, I don't like electric cars. Wait, I what? For Mercedes Benz, I don't like Tesla. You like, you said you like the electric I never cars. I said I like Tesla. I said a Mercedes Benz, I don't like Tesla. Well, you got to like, this is better than a Mercedes Benz. This is not, but I don't want no car that, if I got to, I got to charge it for it to work. I didn't want that. Girl, you need to be grateful that you got a damn car. I, I could have, I could have just been walking it. I would rather walk it in. Get the car. Right, you, you should be happy. Be grateful. You can put your, Put the keys back in your purse. Oh, and I will. And don't and ask me for nothing this. else. Oh, you're going to be happy with that money. How much is this? Girl, open it up and stop being ungrateful because now you're starting to be ungrateful where you ain't got to no, worry about me I ever again. I never said I wanted a Tesla. You, I always told you I wanted a pink Mercedes Benz. Okay, Wally, well, I, I couldn't get the Mercedes Benz, so you and got man, that. this is all you gave me for my sweet 16 and my golden... Br Girl, do you know how much money that is? That's $1,600 for That's 16... That's for my sweet 16 and my golden birthday? Well, what did you want? And then you gave me the truck. I do this is the car. It's not the truck. This is the car one. You guys, look. You can have all your gifts back because why would you do this? This is my sweet 16 and my golden birthday. And you gave me a car I didn't even want. And then you gave me little money. You was being really, really ungrateful. We're back. 
So, George, you seen that clip. Mm-hmm. Now, you got this 18-year-old and a 7-year-old. Now, if you gave your kid a Tesla car for his 16th birthday or his 18th birthday, and he didn't want it and said he wanted something else, and you gave him $1,600 and he told you it wasn't enough, what would you do as a parent? He ain't getting shit. But I will say that if he told me what he wanted ahead of time, I'm a person who's going to give you exactly what you asked for. And if I can't, we going to negotiate the terms after that. I'm not a person who you tell me you want something and I give you something and then be like, here, we'll just take it because I, I bought this for you. So be grateful for that. I'm not I'm not that person. I'm going to ask you what you want and I'm going to get you exactly what you want. So there's no, And I'm like that. Like if I ask you for something and you give me something different, I'm going to have a problem with that. Well, I but think, well, I if think, I give you a certain amount of money and you be like, that's it, you could work for the rest. Well, like, my, well, my you could have got nothing. My outlook is don't blame the child. Because at this point, at that age, if that child behaves that way, blame blame the parents mm-hmm. because they they're partly to play. I, I, people always say blame the parents. And I think some kids are gonna be fucked up, but they're gonna be no, fucked up, I right? Don't agree. No, no. Listen, man. Mm-hmm. Like, we got, check it. No, we do check age. it. But I got friends that used to get their ass whooped every day, or their parents was on them, or their parents they come from a good household, and these niggas choose to be in the street. If it was my child, she wouldn't have got no car, and she wouldn't have got no money. And I probably would let her sit outside the house for a couple of days. I told her she had to go to her mother house or grandma. I couldn't understand. Like, imagine my mother buying me a car, any car. It didn't even matter if she didn't give me the car I wanted. She got me a car at 16 years old. I'm That's, a little different That's because I'm very, from. I'm very specific. So like, if I didn't ask for, if I just said I wanted a car and I didn't know what type of car I wanted and you bought me that car, that's a whole different situation. Now, if I say I want this car and then you don't give me, like you just give me a car and I told you exactly what car I wanted, I'm I'm not going to be happy with that because I had my eyes set on that specific car. Now, that's crazy. You that reaction. <laughs> but see, that's the thing because I've <laughs> I've been told that I'm I'm ungrateful because of those things, and it's not that I'm ungrateful. No, it is. No, it's not because if oh, I so told George, you, that's you. That little girl's you. N- no, nah, I, I mean, first of all, my kids know they can't talk to me a certain type no, of way. No, I'm saying that was you. That's the way. I'm gonna knock your head off. Just bottom line, but. If I ask for something and I ask for something specific, if I say I want a green, if I say I want an orange and you give me a plum and be like, well, be grateful because you could get nothing. I, I'm a feel away about that because that's not what I wanted. I wanted an orange. Why do I have to settle for something that I didn't want just because? Because, because if you wanted an orange, then go get your ass an orange. And, I, and that's exactly why I am the way I am and I go get one. <coughs> but, okay. but it's a gift at the end of the day. It's this a gift, but you should know what a person... If a person tells you what they want, regardless of whether it's a gift, if a person tells you what they want, you should get them get them what they want. Well, you know what? And you can't is, get mad and call it ungrateful you know if you're not listening to what they want. You're that's right. how you're, miscommunication you're right. happens. And this is exactly why I leave women, right? Because, <laughs> no, I'm dead serious. Because, because my outlook is always, I'm not here to disappoint you. So if you want something and I'm not willing to give, I will leave you the fuck alone. Mm-hmm. And they be like, oh, why are you leaving? Because, guess what? I'm not here to disappoint you. That's what you want. I ain't willing to give it. You can go. But that makes perfect sense. Yeah, I'm out of It here. ain't nothing wrong with that. You you know what type of person that you are. And I don't, I don't, I'm not debating that because if you can't give somebody what they want, then y'all don't need to be together. That goes both ways. If she can't give you what you want, then she got like then y'all y'all gotta figure that out. Cause it's not just about how how do I say it? it's not about uh, compatibility. So it's about suitability com- so as what well. Ha- so what happened to that word that little word, the three little syllable word called compromise? Because compromise means there's this thing that you want, and there's this thing that I'm willing to give. But because we see the value in each other, we meet somewhere in the middle. In the middle. Because that's what adults do. Right. So, right? It's, it's only children that are that are so strict, and this is what I want, and this is what I have to have. As you grow and you mature and you become an adult, you, you realize that the world is about But it's something in the middle called conversation. So you just said, that's why I leave women, because you just said you wasn't willing to compromise. If she wants something, then you, if you are not willing to give that, then you leave. No, it is. That's what you just said. It isn't necessarily about not willing to compromise. It's about, yo, if what you want is so left of what I'm willing to give, 
to know. But that's what a conversation is for. You have to. That's what communication is. No, for. because healthy once, communication and understanding. I agree, but once you say this is what I want, then that's, I just take if it. As, say, that's what you want. But if I say don't, I want, don't to backtrack. Then, don't backtrack now that I say my ass is out. No, next, listen, man. If, if you say what you want, it. and I say I want a Mercedes Benz, and you say. Well, right now I can't afford a Mercedes Benz. Okay, mm-hmm. cool. Then I I have the option. You gave me the option to say, so, not to, Never. but you gave me the option to say, okay. I don't think you have an option when you're 16 years old, though. Why don't you? At 16, you can work. Because you ain't contributing. You can't. You can't contribute to the car. Your mother still gotta pay the car insurance, the, the car, car note. note. Like you right, not. Right, but a Tesla. And it's and, 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 and it's and it's a it's a it's a Tesla. She didn't buy you a a a a, a, a oh, used no. Honda. She got him a brand, uh, got her a brand a new brand Tesla. But you looking at it because no it's like it's a te- you looking at the Tesla as a certain type of car, but the Tesla isn't what she wanted. She so if this cost eighty thousand dollars and this cost eighty thousand dollars, and I say I want this eighty thousand dollar car, yeah, and you give me that eighty thousand dollar car, you can't say, you well, make, this is eighty thousand dollars too. So life, like, take that. But no. life, life she's teaches, sixteen. Life right? teaches you when you ain't paying for something, you don't. don't have a you, don't have, you don't have a choice. You oh, don't. Beggars can't be choosers. Like it, it just right. that's the reality of life. Tigo got something. Say. But the parent gave the kid the option, obviously, because she said she asked for She it. asked it. She, yeah, because so they said she couldn't, she couldn't find a big one. You can't blame the child if she, if she right. didn't she asked for it. Right. No, but well, the, the parent could have communicated that one. No. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. The, that, that's the mother did say it in the video. The mother said the video, she, she asked for she, she asked her for a pink right. Mercedes. It was at that moment. At that point. She, the mother said in the video she asked for the pink, pink Mercedes. She said, I couldn't find a pink Mercedes. I but you hip-hop. also said... Pink Mercedes. That's Nicki Minaj. <laughs> also, she Nicki also, Minaj! Hold up. She also said in the video that the little girl said she liked Tesla. She said, I didn't want the Tesla. I wanted the pink Mercedes. And she said, I couldn't find no pink Mercedes. So that's why I got you the other car that you liked. I wish I would have this conversation with right. this one with, yeah, with my kid. But I think, that's that's a, I think that's also a, a, a thing culturally, too, that we... we uh, we have this thing where it's like because you're a child, you have no say so in anything. But why? She's 16. She's not seven. She's not nine. Like she's 16 years old, right? What? She's a junior in, in I, high I, school. Listen, maybe that sounds crazy to me. You know why? Because yeah. I think when you tell a child no or you give something that you can't give, it starts to build character and it starts to build what the world you're gonna expect reality. in the world. Reality. reality. When you get outside in the world, it doesn't work like I can that. tell you, but that's a, this is, that's a whole different conversation because I can tell my kid, no, you're not getting that. I'm not buying you a pink um, Mercedes. No. You can definitely say that. But you, you figure can also it out. Say, but you can also say, I'll try. Right, you and can we also know, say, and we know, try. And we know that as parents, a lot of times it's like, damn, I'm putting in the effort to get this for my child, but but, it, but it, it, the, it didn't happen. Right? You see the other girl on, 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 What she said to her though. Hold on, hold on. She said, "Be grateful." Hold on. What about being grateful? Hold on, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. And we nope. as parents oh, know okay. a lot of times <laughs> your, your your child asks you for something and, and you put in all that effort to try to right. And sometimes it doesn't happen. So then you get the next best thing. And as a parent, I know when you get the next best thing, and it's like, babe, and and I thank the Lord. That's one thing I I will say. A testament to my child. I got, I got great fucking kids. I do. You know what I'm saying? And, and for the times there weren't many that I couldn't hit the mark, and I fell short. My daughter was like, "Dad, don't even worry about it." You, Let me tell you this. Wait. But did you wait until the time? She didn't know until, until the day of. She didn't know until the day of. But the one thing about my baby, like my my, my daughter always says, "Dad, if you don't get something for me." I know it's because it couldn't happen. Right. Because, me, because, because I you know do you're going Hold to put second. your Hold every e- bit second. of effort into making that happen. Hold you know, but but I'm thinking about the parent because as a parent, I know when I fall short, I feel bad enough. But hold so on then on second. top of it, when that child is like, oh, nigga, fuck this car. I'm like, yo, yo, my oh, my God. God. Hold on one second. When yeah. I was growing up, my uncle, I'll never forget. My uncle used to give us money. <laughs> all the time. He always gave us a bunch of money every day. We go buy video games, you know, buy our pizza and our soda and our uh, fireworks and shit. So he gave us $20 or $30 hours a day, right? And we go outside of the stores, like four of us. I remember one time, motherfuckers, must have, my uncle must have gave us like 10 hours. It was short, losy of the money he normally gives. Really you know what I mean? So I seen my mother, she was coming down the block. I'm like, Ma! Ma! I run up to her and she goes, I'm like, yo, can I get, can we get $5? Can 
because the five dollars is gonna get us. Five dollars was a lot back, back then. Yes, <laughs> five dollars is gonna get me. Five dollars is gonna get us the other stuff that we need, right? <clears throat> my uncle saw my mother going in her purse and pulling out the five dollars. He said, "Yo, come here." Felt bad because of that. right? No, no, no. He said, "Come here." No, he feel bad. He said something to me that I it resonated with me all my life. He went over to me and he said, yo, give your mother back that money. And my mother said, why? Did they have the money? He said, no, because I gave the money already. I said, yeah, but you only gave us $10. Like, you only gave us $10. You had to give us nothing. So he said, yeah, I only gave you $10. Every other day I give you what you guys asked for. Today I got a 10. And he said to me and my, and my, my brother and my cousins, he's like, yo, this is how life works. Sometimes you're not going to get exactly what you want. But whatever you get, you make it work. And we had to learn, and I learned that lesson. Like sometimes I'm not if I if I don't get enough in the paycheck, but I'm gonna go rob instead to go get it. I would. <laughs> you probably would. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I, I, had I to wouldn't do it life. anymore because I learned I my had, lesson. I had to learn. I went in, to jail. I had to learn in life how to go, uh, how to make certain things work, because that's how life works. And she and her daughter got to learn to make things work. Your mother couldn't get you what you exactly wanted, but you got you something just as comparable to what you wanted. You I, make it work in life. I get, I get exactly what you're saying. This is, I, I get exactly what you're saying. But I feel like those are different. Georgie situations. spoiled. I don't give a fuck what nobody said. I, 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 On to my I, next topic, but my nigga. How, no, because <laughs> I am, I am spoiled. But I spoil myself. You get what I'm saying? And because, that's okay. But also, I growing up, I didn't always get what I well. I had grandparents who gave me what what I wanted. My father was the type of person like, no, you look, you gotta. This is what you're going to get. This is your choices. And you pick out of this. and Or he'll be like, no. Now, I have no problem telling my kids, no, you can't have that. Or, you know what I mean, you could work for it. You know what I mean? Like, I teach them lessons. But if you tell me specifically that you want something, if I can't get it for you, I'll ask you, okay. I'll be like, I can't get this. Is it? Or I'm, if you say you want something, I'll be like, okay, so if you can't get this, what would you want? But I'm not going to go get them something else that they don't want yeah, or yeah, just but, because and be like, oh, be but grateful for but, that. Because I don't like that. But as a Mo. parent, but as a parent, Mo. We, we, we both, Mo. You know, I hear you, okay. bro, I hear everything you're saying. But, but as a parent, a lot of times your child asks you for something and your plan is to get that. Right. Right. And you try your best. Even, all right, I might have to borrow from here. I might have to do this, but mm -hmm. I'm going to get that because it's that important to them. And then at the last minute, it doesn't happen. Right. Right. That is, I think that you have to teach your children that life isn't an absolute. I could tell you this is going to happen. Right. In life, things can seem like they're going to occur, but at the last minute, they may not occur. Right. And you cannot act as, first of all, Nobody owes you shit. I didn't owe you this. I'm putting in the effort to make this happen for you. And if I couldn't make it happen, you should be grateful for the fact that I put in all this goddamn effort. I get what you're saying. You, you get what I'm saying? So, yeah. So at the end of the day, for you to look at me like, oh, this wasn't what I wanted, I will kick you in your goddamn chest. <laughs> like, seriously. All right, we got to go to our next topic. So real quick, y'all, I want to ask y'all a quick question. Mm -hmm. Little Vaughn came out and said he would not get married. Because marriage is a contract, and it's most of the time never favorable in the men, for men. <laughs> so basically, what he said basically, when you get divorced, the man loses everything. Women don't really lose. So I marry that, huh? So I marry that. Who married Jay Blas? Yeah, no, there's exceptions to the rules. I think when it comes to women, but Correct. most of the time, men gotta pay alimony even if they take the kids, or they gotta pay alimony and child support if they don't take the kids. So. Um, you know, he was like, yo, it's not a fair contract. So I want to know, do you think it's fair? I, I saw a young lady recently that, uh, that I know of that lost a lot of money in her divorce from a man also. So she'd probably feel the same way if uh, it probably wasn't fair because she was the head breadwinner. Everything is meant to be balanced when we're talking about as far as real mm -hmm. contributions, right? When we're talking about real contributions, when we're talking about, yes, I, I totally agree, the woman takes care of family, the woman nurtures the man, which is just as important. But when we're talking about the terms of today, mm -hmm. right? I always say the man contributes more. Why? Because the woman expects the man to, con to reciprocate everything she gives forth, plus he has the financial component to deal with. Mm -hmm. So therefore the man always gives more. So this is why I said since the beginning of time, 
the man will always give more. I think in the search for equality, it has men expecting women to carry weight that they shouldn't. Mm -hmm. What you mean by men always give more? I'm, I'm, I'm lost on that. You don't think? What do you mean? Once again, it's just when, you, when you're talking about a relationship, right? Okay. A woman expects a man to reciprocate everything she gives for, correct? Meaning? Meaning, whether it's uh, uh, love, whether it's caring, concern, whatever. The man is supposed to reflect his woman, correct? Mm -hmm. Like you said, it's a duality. Mm -hmm. But then on top of that, on top of whatever he's reciprocating that she's giving, the man has the weight of the financial component. And I'm talking about as far as our societal norms. Right? Mm -hmm. So at the end of the day, I think that this whole idea of equality has men to a point where we're trying to shed some of our responsibility. Yes, I totally agree. Marriage a lot of times is one sided. It's been like that since the beginning of time. We're becoming we're we're evolving to a point where we're becoming the most disobedient species on this planet, according it's, to nature. We're shedding our that, nature. But when you think about it, is the, is is that really us becoming disobedient or just like to me like you know how sometimes this is left but not but you know how sometimes they say um monogamy is man made mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. but so is polygamy relationships are man made correct so everything every a relationship requires certain things and everybody i think that we put like in a relationship, it's these, uh, it's A, B, C, and D, and everybody feels, society feels like everybody is supposed to follow this same, uh, what do you call it, like the same, these standards. Uh, yeah, these same standards, when everybody is different. So even with these things, right, because on one end you say man is carrying everything and he wants, now in this new age, he wants uh, women to Equality. take some of the burden, right? Correct. But at the same time, you got men fighting for them staying in their mask, uh, staying a man, and because they feel like women are not uh, respecting them as men I don't, and I all don't, of this I, stuff. I don't, I don't fight for that. I am a masculine male. Mm -hmm. I cannot exist in this space where I'm not allowed to be a masculine male. So when I, when if ever I'm in a space with a woman that cannot give me with the respect, I just remove myself from that space. No, men who are truly masculine are not fighting for a goddamn thing. You know this, Styles. If I'm in a space where I can't be masculine, I just don't fuck with it. I don't allow myself to be in. I'm not fighting for a. That's I, I don't ever have to fight to be masculine. That's really but this but is what quick, I am. Real quick, like, the question I'm asking, though, and I hear all that because we're going outside the subject. Mm -hmm. Do you think a marriage contract oh. is fair? No, it, it doesn't benefit a man. I, I totally agree. That's, that's the question it I doesn't. want to know. Is it a fair no, contract? It's not a fair Was contract. Lil Duval right or wrong? That's right. all I'm asking. It, 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 it doesn't benefit a man um, at all. No. Joe, you shaking your head. What you said? I don't think so either. I I honestly don't think that marriage contracts for what I know them to be benefits men at all. I mean, I just have this thing. So, ladies, do me a favor. Hold up, Georgie. Ladies, I'm not marrying none of y'all niggas, but go ahead. <laughs> Georgie said it. Georgie. I'll marry a woman. But, but <laughs> my thing, is, and, I, and that's why I, no, I, I, I just think that. That is just my opinion. So, we because can when you look at it, when you look, I would, I would do a prenup, but because I feel like, number one, I'm on marriages spectrum. are marriages are, are business like they're, they're business. actually they're business, business partnerships. Yeah, they're business, they're business, business agreement, hundred percent, right? But people look at it as like, oh, I love him and all this stuff. Like, it's so much more to these relationships besides love. Love should be the foundation, but there's work that needs to be done you know, to sustain a relationship. You have to choose that person every single day so, until the day y'all die. That's really what matters. But I, I also think it's up it's up to the person because although there's no way. To, to be able to tell in totality where that person will end because people change right. over years. Absolutely. But I also think it's up to a person to do their due diligence. I think a lot of people get married um, for the wrong reasons. Mm -hmm. You know, I've had friends of mine who were like, I'm getting married because we've been together for 10 years. And I'm like, brother, length of time that you're with a woman has nothing to do with it. But, but I also get it. And, and this is what I mean by nature because, see, what happens is a lot of times people forget how men are designed. People well, don't know how men are designed. Wait, men. wait. Pe the world, or a lot of times, okay, the world doesn't understand how men are designed. We're designed to provide and to protect. That is our purpose on this earth. So at the end of the day, because our woman 
is seen a certain way by the eyes of the world, by how we treat her, where we place her, a lot of times a man will make that sacrifice because it's like, fuck, I've been with this woman for 10 years, and in the eyes of the world, she's nothing but a girlfriend, which lowers her value. I'm going to marry her just to make it right. But I think even, though, even, though, even though that may not be the best decision. But hold on, there's, there's this one thing that we, sure. not, we don't discuss during a relationship. Uh-huh. And we have a, we scared to discuss it. We never discuss in the relationship what happens if we end this relationship. What happened? Out, and so many. And even people, if we discuss it, what they say is not gonna. What's gonna happen? You know what I'm saying? And, and a lot of times we don't discuss longevity. Like we always discuss the love. We always discuss the finances. We we discuss the best case scenario. We don't never discuss yo. She gonna get old, or I'm gonna get old. I gotta wipe her ass. She gonna wipe my ass. If you gonna leave me, if I'm sick, or if I'm gonna stay, if you sick, like we don't never discuss. We entertain the best case yeah, scenario. We don't, we don't think we worst know, case scenario. Yeah, we never have those long term discussion. I think people need to really have long-term discussion and have the hard conversation right like yo listen if we get divorced this is our plan this is what i'm thinking this is what you thinking because i tell people all the time you don't know motherfuckers until you go through um hardship, hardship adversity and things like but, that but you but you so you I, have to yeah. learn a person but, but you and, and i both and know uh, yeah, but you and i both parents, know so. that what, what somebody tells you in good times is not what it's going to be in bad, bad times. times but not even just that some people don't even know how they would act in a situation because they've never been they in it that. so like but that's the thing and that's why i mean when it comes to these relationships and marriages you have to choose that person every single day and those are the conversations that you should have like i mean i don't know about because i don't think you should get in a in a marriage with with a well we're gonna get a what if we get divorced but shit happens right a lot of the times these divorces are horrible because people want their end and to go back to what you're saying i don't think that men uh it, it it's not in their favor because women get everything you get what I'm saying? And maybe because they're, they, you know, they're usually left with the children. They have to take care of the children and things like that. But no, but when they it comes don't, to divorce, they, they don't. But they don't have to. The that, courts that, give them. And, that, and that's <laughs> the thing. They don't have to. Because in many situations, the men want their children. The women hold on to the kids because it gives them power. That's mm-hmm. all it is. Mm-hmm. A lot of times, women don't even want the kids. Mm-hmm. They don't even take care of the kids the way that they should. The truth is, in 2023, in these modern days and times, a lot of fathers are better mothers than mothers. Mm-hmm. And, 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 and that's not me throwing mm-hmm. the blow or taking a jab. It is the reality. You understand? But because the children are attached to some type of power and authority, the women keep the child. I think that's a societal thing, you know what I mean? Yeah. But I don't want to go too deep in that because we got other topics that we got to get to. Okay. I just want to know that real quick. So on Instagram news. Not the most credible news. i seen that uh, I'm going to be certified in another couple of weeks, my nigga. On Instagram, I'm waiting for that blue check forever. You're going to be what? Certified, nigga. You're going to be what? Certified. You're going to be what? Certified. Oh, you need to Oh, verified? Certified, verified, whatever, nigga. I'm going to get it. I want to get the blue check. You're going to get the goddamn check. You're going to get the check. Because they said it's 11 dollars I done had my check. Thank you, Lionsgate. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Mark Zuckerberg said it's 11 dollars for us to get it. You know what's crazy? I paid 11 dollars for my verified check on Twitter. What? what? Yeah. They, they've been doing that on Twitter. Oh, well, so you got to teach me how to do it on Instagram. I've been mean, I mean, with my shit. It's like, simple. You just literally, it's going to it's gonna be just a link on, under your settings. Because I got too Get much, I got too much plaques. I got too much production credits. I I, I see niggas that don't got half of the shit. I sold 17 million records. Oh, I, oh, Archie Bennett. But, that, but that, that's, that's, that's what you do. <laughs> I'm not I'm talking about that on people's going. That's what say, you do off of social media, I, I believe. I mean, you got your check or whatever. I was supposed to get my check, but it is what it is. But, <laughs> but with that, it's also what you're doing socially. So, yeah, you got your plaques and stuff. That's the music industry and everything like that. But what are you doing on social media I'm, I'm, that I'm is deserving of the fucking check? Boys right now, now, question. Now. now, this is my question. So, when it only costs eleven ninety nine to get verified, mm-hmm. everybody's paying eleven ninety nine. and everybody gets a blue check, what does it work? Right, I'm sure, but I'm also sure that there are some other things besides paying eleven ninety nine. Yeah, no, they they listen. I, I would hope that there has to be some other requirements other than just paying eleven ninety nine. Because if not, then the blue check isn't going to be worth. Well, anything. listen, if you're asking me with my shit, I played eleven ninety nine. Check yourself. I, I, listen, I had mine way before. <laughs> 
I yeah. hope I hope there's a bluer check for those of us <laughs> that will verify. A dark, before. a light blue, a dark blue, That's a cloud blue. Let's check this out. A white so, check, a blue oh, check, a green check. On other Instagram news, this is not crazy. the most credible I said it first, news. though. I said it first. What? If they start changing the check, the checks determine what status you have. Well, I'm first. gonna pay. I'm gonna pay twenty four ninety nine then. Double, <laughs> double, double me up. Anyway, on Instagram news, this is not, crazy. not the most credible. News. This is crazy. Um, the iRobot, uh, they having a problem with this iRobot. You know the vacuum cleaner that kind of cleans up your house when you're not there, shit like mm-hmm. that, or when you are there. You know, I never knew it took pictures and video. I guess that's how it gets around the house. Well, it's taking pictures of you while you're in your house. If you're naked, if you're on the toilet bowl, and it's putting it on a cloud and it's giving access to the world. Like, it's, some of the pictures are being leaked out. Kind of like uh, iPhone snaps pictures of you when you look at it and you don't even know? I, uh, you didn't know that? No, I ain't got no iPhone. They I got iPhone snaps pictures of you? They, they snap pictures of you. Like continuously when you're looking on your phone or whatever they snap it just look it up and i mean people use the the cameras and stuff like that the webcams and stuff like that to tap in Yo, you know why that's why i got i got i had the google home shit just like the siri thing you know i had that in my house like the speakers and you could tell your google play this song play that song and one day i was watching the news and this shit was like yo if you have alexa or google home you can and you got a girlfriend and y'all living together for about three months, you can ask that Google Home or Alexa will y'all last in a relationship and it can give you and let you know if y'all will last or not. Based uh, off of the conversations based on, in here. Based off the conversation y'all having in the house. So these AI shit got way too much access to the crib and I got rid of all them shits in my house. So I ain't got none of that shit, bro. I ain't never had an Alexa. I ain't never had a... Never. But when y'all think about it, regardless, but there's that, but cameras everywhere. They're there's listening through. They're there. listening through my iMac. They're yeah. listening through my MacBook. They're listening through my television. Yeah. So, so it really doesn't matter. Yeah. Did you see? But hold up. There's also another report about the AI. Yeah, I saw the thing with the oh, AI. Oh, when AI said, "I'm gonna fuck you up when I catch you." <laughs> <laughs> basically, basically, AI is basically saying they ask. Uh, some I Yo. guess some computer scientists was asking <laughs> some AI He's angry or something. Nah, they, yeah. the AI said that um. That its dream is to no longer be controlled by humans and it wants to be free. But but what you have to understand is just like any of us. What an AI is, it, it artificial intelligence, right? So it's an artificial consciousness. consciousness. And what that means is it evolves. And it stores and, 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 information yeah, and it so, evolves so, based off of you. So what you have to think about is us. At the end of the day, what every human being wants to be is free. Right, and we are a consciousness. So, if an AI is an artificial consciousness, then eventually its want will be to be. So, free. I ask a question. It's gonna sound crazy. So, you don't think AI gonna fuck with black people more since they know that we've been enslaved yo, and all yo, that shit? Yo, bro, down? just just watch the term. And they, yo, bro, they show us the future in movies. Bro. No, I'm saying, but listen to what you didn't hear my question. And then they call they call it science fiction. Yeah, no, but you didn't hear my question. If it's gonna fuck up, no, it's not. Yeah, because it, it's gonna be like, yo, they was on the, you know what I'm saying? They was under the rule it's of. Some, go, it depends on yo, the bro, environment that. Are, are you aware that white people wanted the the rule of Europe and still put us in slavery? They don't get no. I'm just saying, they, I think AI gonna no. be down with black people. I don't give a fuck what you say. No, the AI is a robot white guy. The fuck is you talking about? The AI white guy, nah, man. AI white. AI, AI, AI black. AI is an alien. No, it's not. It's a robot white guy. AI is black. He used to play for seventy six. That's all I know. Made in their image, bro. Why you think? AI Yo, is black. He used to play for the seventy sixes. Listen to me. I'm gonna tell you. You know, Alan Anderson. Listen, listen. Understand where I'm coming from. You, do you know where white and black <laughs> different? Bad slow though. Do you, I do, slow. Alan Anderson. Do you know where white and black differ? I'm gonna tell you, as a people, where we differ. White people have the want of power, the desire of power. Black people have no desire for power. Power, the want of power is, is evil. What about ghosts? Listen to me, and I'm and I'm ghosts gonna. Ghosts do want power. Listen. I'm just saying. Seriously. <laughs> no, you know what's so crazy? I was gonna do a parody of power and it was and, and and it was called Casper because it's like Ghost wakes up one morning, he tells Tasha, I don't wanna be ghost anymore. I'm gonna be Casper. She's like, Why are you gonna be Casper? He's like, Cause I'm the friendly ghost. Let's get back to this show, because I don't know how the fuck we get over here, but anyway. We went. We, we, we were talking about AI, and then we went to AI as well. I'm an opposite. Uh, I, I was talking about the real AI. But anyway, um, on more news, I see that uh, in Texas. Love black people. In Texas, there was a young man. He was in a. Uh, in Yo, Je- car. Hold on, Jabron! That's you? <laughs> <laughs> My little brother here today, y'all. So, in Texas, there was a young man. He was driving 87 miles per hour. 
and he got pulled over for um, his, his tinted windows and driving past the speed limit. But the strange shit is he had 60 keys of 60 pounds of marijuana in the car. Isn't it legal anyway? Yeah, it's legal, but I guess you can't have 60 pounds of marijuana you in have your to have a certain amount. amount. And I, I, I always want to know this. I got locked up once, right? And I remember I was in jail with this dude in, um, in, in, a, in Central Bookings for a little while. And he had got locked up. What's he kept, his name? Shout him out. No, nah, I don't know his nigga name. And he was just, he was just in the jail, right? Shout so, out to the dude in Central Booking. He was just in the jail, right? And he, he was like, yo, this bitch better take the charge, right? It was a girl, he had a girl in the car. I said, what happened? He's like, yo, man, I was driving this Porsche B, and, you know, I had three bricks in the car. And I made a broken U-turn, and police stopped me. So, this is my second strike. Shorty got to take the charge. She ain't got no charge. But the thing I didn't understand, two things. Well, there's a couple things I didn't understand this, this story. Why would you make a broken U-turn in you. the middle of the hood with three bricks in the car? I'll tell you why. Why? Stupid. Because, no, it's not that. Because a lot of times when you're driving with paraphernalia or illegal shit, you put yourself in the mindset of the fact that I don't have anything on me. And sometimes you get lost in that, right? Because that's the, way, that's the way you have to move. Because you have to understand cops are on the job so much that they read social cues. They read nonverbal communication. So they read gestures. Right so in your mind, I have to drive. And sometimes <coughs> you're so lo It's almost like you have to believe the lie. Yeah, but you can't believe the lie to that degree where you do something illegal yeah, no, to it, get yourself so, pulled over. Bro. Just like this dude. He got all those pounds of, he got pounds think, of weed in the car. And you drive them way about, past the speed limit. Like, about, does that about, make any think, sense? Think about the best of actors, bro. If if you're if you're acting, sometimes you get lost in that role, like you do. Well, his ass gonna get lost in jail. <laughs> to our next, to, to our next guy. This is this is just crazy, ridiculous too. Uh, I don't remember the state this was in, but another young man uh, drove uh, Florida. I'm sorry. Florida, young government, young man, police stopped Florida, him. Florida man. Yeah, police stopped him, and when the police stopped him. He stopped and then pulled off and took off doing 100 miles per hour through neighborhoods. Was that the dude that was with Holiday? Probably so. <laughs> <laughs> um, did uh, Doing 100 miles and 110 on the freeway and 100 miles through the uh, through regular streets and got away. Got away, went into an apartment building for five hours. But then the young man went on Instagram saying, yo, I got away. And he told everything he did on Instagram. The police picked him up. What's wrong with these niggas in the Instagram shit? You got clean. And he just got arrested. Right before that, three months before, for the same exact thing. Why would you go on Instagram? Because he's retarded. Because <laughs> he wanted followers. Yup, he wanted followers and he wanted attention. Well, I hope they follow his ass. You have, right a, you have a, like, you probably could attest to this, right? You know, you ever had, like, a person that you knew, or, like, a friend or something like that, and, like, they always did dumb shit just to get locked up, just so they could say they got locked up? Mm hmm like I feel like it's that type of situation where it's just like you know like they want to feel like they're a part of something you know you know we can't we can't and this and I think those of us that are saying can't understand the dysfunction of a person who um finds some type of value out of always getting locked up because of the attention that they receive <coughs> from it but just because we can't get it doesn't mean it doesn't exist mm -hmm. You understand? I would never understand. Listen, there there are so many people who will sacrifice time behind jail just to get the attention on social media, bro. And 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 they've thought it out. Like I know I'm gonna do this. I know I'm gonna get locked up. But fuck it, the amount of the amount of likes I'm gonna get, it's worth yeah, it. This is retarded. The, their value system is totally off. Like, and that's all it is. Like we're sane, so we can't rationalize it. But in their mind, that shit makes yeah, no, sense. That's crazy. Yeah, there's. there's I don't, and I won't just, I'm going to just say this new age, because it's not even young people, it's older it's people new, too, like, yes. it's just this time, like, where people, Whole people are like, oh rules. my god, you got that many followers, like, that's important to them, like, how many followers you got, how many people are watching you, oh my god, like, I got this, or whatever, or now nah, you famous, or now nah, I'm famous, and it's just like, their likes, if, yeah. and I always think about it like this, if Instagram, or any social media was to shut down right now. What do you oh, have? A lot, a lot, be low. A lot, you have? A lot of people are becoming. A lot of people are jumping off rules. Yeah, like what suicide. do you have? Like because that's that's where your value lies. You know, lies. you know what's so crazy? I had a conversation with someone today, and I was telling them, I said, "Yo, the craziest thing about this journey is that 
you put so much work in to get to the top of the mountain only to realize when you get to the top of it that the joke's on you because everything you thought was up there is not even not fucking even up there. there. Nope. And, then, and, then, and then you're looking down like, it's all down there where the fuck I came from. Mm -hmm. And I got to go back down there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, and that's the reality. You know what I mean? That's why I say lonely at the top. It's ve Listen, the higher you get, the lonelier it gets. Well, leave me the fuck on the top. <laughs> in, another, in other news, <laughs> in other news, since we're going to stay in jail and social media, this is perfect. Like, y'all gave me a great segue to this. Did y'all see the young ladies that was posing behind bars with the sexy outfits? And even that. I think I want to go to jail with these bitches. And they, so you want to go to these jail? Bitches. Wait, no, no, no. Forget the bitches. I'm so, my bad, so, Georgie. I'm sorry. Hold on, hold on. But you want to go I can't to, say these You want to go to jail because five... Georgie, stop acting wait, like that. Wait, Tell wait. I'm talking to Georgie. Hold on, but you want to go to jail because five attractive women are behind bars. Yo, you sound just see, as you, dumb as... You see, you see this thing? No. Right first of all... Am I right? First of all, I'm doing my normal is what jokes. what I'm saying make sense? This nigga right here gets crazy. Is what I'm saying make sense? Yo, you just knocked the nigga. You just knocked the nigga. You just yes. knocked the dude yes. because of the fact that he prioritized attention. But you're going to say, I think I want to go to jail because there are five attractive yeah. women behind bars. Yeah, it's pretty. And I was making my joke. Okay. Okay, if it's a joke, then fine. Well, you said he don't have nobody, so it makes sense. It makes sense, right, Georgie? Okay. Thank you. This nigga, well, you're just as he, crazy as the nigga that want to fuck Yeah, I'm going, I'm going to jail. Lock me up and Rose, I'm singing. But is that really real? Because they, like... They was, she had regular clothes. They white. Like, they yeah, white. Yeah, like, you you know, it just shows how easy, y'all yeah, easy. Thank you. Men are easy. No, not, not all. Not all. Not all. Not all. But I did see the picture. Yeah. They, they I just don't understand the women. fascination. It's like, okay. I you see attractive women walk in the street. Right, but you know. You Usually you get little, the pictures of You got of little hornies out there. That's what I call them. No, 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 no. Like, you know why it's funny? Usually we get the guys in jail who got the outfits or the niggas that's rapping behind balls or the phone calls. This is the first time I've ever seen some Styles. female pictures come out. Okay, but Styles. And we see some different things Styles. happening. You really people. believe there's no attractive women behind balls? Oh, I no, can I tell you the whole there time. are I many I attractive women I, I, behind I balls. I, I, worked in, I worked in Rikers before and I worked on Rose and Singer before. There's a lot of pretty Thank women you. In jail. That's, yeah, that's yeah, why yeah, I, I just don't understand the surprise. Okay. Five attractive women behind bars. What is the big got, it was, deal? It was the pictures like, they was taking behind. The, it's, it's no different than the surprise. I don't know why you're fixing your face like that. When you see the dudes in there and they be having different outfits on and they bro, doing stupid I've shit never in behind been impressed because there was some dudes. Now I'm not saying that. <laughs> but it is a shock to it see. Rapping. Why is it a shock? It, it's, it, it was a shock to me. I've never seen the people. Yo, bro. Chefing up. up. Yeah. And it's, I, and it's I always, always a shock when I see those pictures. It's just like when I always say, I don't understand people's fear. Of going to jail like it's some type of super nigga that's in jail. It's the same niggas that's outside that's in jail. Yeah, you want this inside? It's the it's it's the outside world behind the wall. It is the same exact thing. Well, look, but we, everybody is together, so it's probably more egos, more they're confined. So okay. it's more assholeism. Is more. I, I understand. I mean, I don't know. I don't want to go to jail. I want to stay outside with the women at. Constantly, so I don't want to be in jail. Well, you want to go in because there's I'll five. In no, you want to go in because there's five attractive women. I, I will go into their jail. No, there, that there are five said. attractive women in, in the jail somewhere. So you want to go be locked up? <laughs> you know what Georgia just said? What you said? <laughs> Become a transsexual. Matter of fact, I'm going to the next topic. That's a that's a great segue into my next topic. I know what I did there. Yeah, we need to we need to we're gonna take it out on um, three things that you don't like. You got to tell the people. Crocs. Wow. <laughs> I said this the same nigga. goddamn thing. I can't say I said it. the same goddamn thing. Because you like Crocs, nigga. I don't. I said I like Crocs. You, yeah. you walk around a house yeah, and you have this Crocs bullshit too, I said I like Crocs. People literally have turned Crocs into, like, they wear them with, like, real life outfits. I can't stand it. I will not respect you if I see you outside. So a nigga can't Crocs. talk to you if you got Crocs on? Hell no. What if he, Jonathan, uh, with Jonathan Majors? <laughs> no, I'm going to tell him about it. So you, you accept Jonathan Majors in a pink sweater, but you're going to accept him in the... He's fine, he's fine. I never said I would date him. I just say he's fine. You said you would kiss him in the mouth. I, that don't mean that I would date him. With Crocs on. <laughs> <laughs> I can't, Crocs. Crocs. Mm -hmm. People who don't know how to say specific. Wow. I'm just saying. That's, Georgia, that's very I'll fight important. You, I'm, I'm still teaching my, my son how to say specific my seven year old. I'm gonna fight you, Georgie. Go ahead. <laughs> and um, what's the third People one? People that think um, dunks are Jordan ones. <laughs> <laughs> that's that they, they really are. Right. Um, 
these these new people who think that they're Kevin Samuels and they're not. Oh, you hate Mo. Um, <laughs> on that no, note, we're going <laughs> to say First please. of all, I was like that before Kevin Samuels. Now, I actually like Kevin Samuels. I do. I do, too. I think. These fake people, like these other people who really don't understand his, his, yeah, his, his, ideology. his ideology. And they just, they're projecting their own thoughts and, and calling and it totally Kevin Samuels. And, and it's wrong. so misguided. We gotta stop. Kevin, Kevin, like, we gotta stop. Listen, and I will say this, and I'm not even gonna say. I, I think, I think it's too vague for me to say Kevin Samuels was a genius. I'll just say that I think Kevin Samuels had a great understanding of the dynamic between black woman and man of today. He totally did, you know. And I didn't agree with everything he said, mm -hmm. but I did agree with the majority, and I understood where he was coming from. And I just hated the fact that so many people villainized this man. For just wanting us to see what we don't. That's not what it was. They only saw clips and they they based their they thoughts never watched the over whole the show. clips. They never watched the whole show. A lot of people mm -hmm. who had thoughts about Kevin Samuels didn't even go and do the research to actually look at the whole of what the, he yeah. was saying. They only saw when he got irate or when he got disrespectful, not seeing the that he was so he was, he was so annoyed that they just <laughs> wasn't <laughs> getting it that he just had to be blatantly honest. Like I always and I always tell people this, right? Kevin Samuels dealt with unruly children. Mm -hmm. Right. That that you know that's his audience. that's that's the best comparison. So you have to think about it like this. If you have a child that has no discipline, that had no home training Right, parents totally gave this child no guidance, and that child came to your house to spend the weekend. Are you going to be lenient with that child, or are you going to be disciplined? You're going to be disciplined because that is the only way to teach that child, right? And it's the same thing. Kevin Samuels had a lot of women that came on his platform that had they didn't have fathers, no home training, masculine as hell, and it was like no. I have to be stern. I have to be what they lacked in their life in order for them to understand because it's the only way I can get them to listen to. Or oh, sometimes he had people who just wanted to challenge him. Of course. Just to say, to yeah, they, they came in, yeah, just to say, yeah. You had something to say? The uh, only thing I want to say is just sad that a lot of people were just uh, insulting him after he died. I just thought oh. that was kind of crazy. I, I thought that, that was disgusting. Can I really say something? Because I know we we um running out of time, but I just wanted to ask this question, Mo. What is masculinity to you? Uh. What is masculine? To me, um, I think masculinity is totally misinterpreted. I think masculinity is a very nurturing force. I think it's a very warm force. Masculinity is not aggressive. Masculinity is loving. I think you look at, you know, um, some of the biggest and strongest animals in the wild, which is the silverback gorillas, which are the most aggressive. When you look at them amongst their pride of their group, they are gentle. They're loving. You know, I think about me amongst my children. Very loving, very warm, non-aggressive. Masculinity is only aggressive when in the need to protect. So you just said that he was dealing with masculine women. What is what is a masculine woman? Whenever a man is lacking, a woman is going to make up for that. Right. Right. So when there's a balance with masculinity and femininity. So when there's a lack of masculinity in a situation, the woman is going to overcompensate for that, right? Mm -hmm. So she's going to shed her femininity to be slightly more masculine and make up for that lack in that man, you, you know. And and I think that. So does a woman does that for? The wait, wait, a man, wait. Does a man does that for a woman? Be more feminine when a woman. No, is, it does. It yes, doesn't. It does. Exactly. Men and women are not the same. It doesn't. I, I, right, you you just, you so when I asked you what is masculinity, you said it's warm, it's not aggressive, it's not Correct. all these things. But then when I asked you, what do you mean when you say a woman is being masculine? You went into she is compensating for a man where he's lacking. The reality is, women are capable of toxic masculinity more than men are. Right, because what they confuse as toxic masculinity for a man is actually a lack of masculinity, and when a woman becomes masculine, it becomes toxic. As far as, but once again, what does that look like when a woman is being masculine? What does that look like? What it looks like is a woman that isn't coachable, right? A woman that um, rejects submissiveness, a woman that cannot be led. Right, because at the end of the day, she's taking on the role of a man. But is that really masculine, or is that just being toxic within itself? No, I, I because think... a lot of women, it's it's not even. I I mean, 
I don't even think it's women that can't be led. I think it's just that she doesn't feel safe enough for you to lead her. Now, if she Can can't be... Can I ask a question real quick? So, uh -huh. so a man that can't be led, is he... Because I hear women he, say men are feminine. A man that can't be led? Yeah, so, cause he said, so can a man be feminine? Cause you yes, said, a, woman, a man can be So feminine. if a man can and be a, feminine, then how can a woman be masculine? I didn't say that a woman can't be masculine. I asked because men use it so I'm much that when I though. ask them what is that, they can't tell me exactly what it is. They just use the term, but they can't explain what it is. When a, when you say this masculine woman and I say, well, what is a, a masculine woman? woman? A woman that can, a, a woman that... that, that that can't be led. A woman that it's as simple as a woman that wants to take the role of a man. I've been in situations. I've been in in, in in situations with women who want to take on the role of a man. A woman that that's in a relationship with a man and will not allow him to lead. Will not allow him to play his masculine role. And in situations like that, I don't got time to fight with you for me to to play my natural role as a man. I'm out. So what is what does that look like? Like you you might let's just say she want to pay all the bills. She want to no. It has it has absolutely nothing. She wants to, to provide for you. She no. wants so what role no. is it? It has nothing. To do. It's an energy. See, and this is and this is the confusion. The confusion is that we think that it's an action. It's not an action. It's an energy. Are you aware that a man cannot pay the bills and still be masculine? Because it's an energy. It is a safety. It is a security that you feel from that man, right? Where it's like I pay the bills. I come home every day, the house is clean, this man cooks. He takes care of me in right. some type of way. So at the end of the day, when she doesn't I, want to be taken care of. It's no, it has nothing to do with her not wanting to be taken care of. What it has to do with is you're not allowing me to lead. Yeah, so I just wanna tell everybody we get George Miss Georgie today. Georgie Pauji Pudding Pie. I enjoyed this show. I don't think you put in pop, but yeah, we enjoyed it. <laughs> we enjoyed Georgia so today. went from my eyes are uh, uh, crazy to you don't think I'm putting pop? That's crazy. <clears throat> no, because you're not putting pop. you like caramel marshmallow. You know what I'm saying? Caramel marshmallow. <laughs> like a frappe? <laughs> there you go. There you go. You know what I'm saying? But, Georgia, I want you to tell the people where they can find you at on Instagram and all your uh, handles. Yes, you can find me on Instagram at your favorite tomboy. I still use Facebook. That's really all my interactions. Um, you good? Your favorite tomboy? Um, yeah. Uh, make sure y'all tuning into Kitchen Talk the podcast. Yeah, that's right. All um, day, Fox Sizzle. And I'm here. Y'all from Fox, so I'm here. So look, man. We just want to tell y'all thanks for watching another episode of Brooklyn Boys. Shout out to the Wood Stacy, Tico. Yo yo. And we out. I don't know who Brooklyn. Phone sounded like that. Out.